today's video is all about traveling with Kratom. You might be thinking, well, Emily, that's pretty obvious how to travel with Kratom. This isn't a hard concept. However, I like to think that I have a couple of good tricks up my sleeve that I'd like to share with you that I think makes traveling with Kratom a bit easier. Just a slight disclaimer, everything I'm talking about in this video is my own advice, my own opinions. I am not paid by any of these brands to talk about them. I've actually paid for for these brands with my own money that I'm going to show in this video. And I'm only talking about traveling from a legal Kratom state to another legal Kratom state. Obviously, if you're traveling to an illegal state, it is going to look different and you probably don't want to travel with Kratom. My only advice for situations like that is to obviously not travel with Kratom if you're going to an illegal state. You're going to want to taper using things like stem and vein. You might also want to use crushed leaf, filter out the plant matter, taper that way, and increase taking something called hirsuta and jandaka. I have a video I'll link here all about hirsuta and jandaka. They are legal everywhere. And as long as you are traveling maybe with like sealed or clearly labeled and marked bags of hirsuta and jandaka, you should be fine and should not have any issues issues. So if you are traveling from state to state where it is legal and say you're taking the plane method, so you're flying, you're going to go through TSA and that is something that you want to be careful with. The advice I have is to make sure that the Kratom bag is sealed and clearly marked and labeled. However, I went through TSA with no problems. I only kept the Kratom with me that I wanted for the flight and the rest of the Kratom went into my checked bag. However, if you are flying and just taking a carry-on, make sure you put it in like a clear Ziploc baggie and have it all together. Again, clearly labeled and marked. Don't make it look suspicious and they won't have a reason to go through it. And also, I just don't recommend taking like a kilo of Kratom with you anywhere. Obviously, it's gonna look suspicious. They're gonna go through it. And so for this instance, I got capsules and I actually ordered from Happy Hippo because their shipping is very quick and I know their quality is good. So I actually had their Kratom shipped to the place that I was going to. That way it arrived, it was capsules, so I could still take it out with me when I'm going out for the day and it doesn't look suspicious. It's clearly labeled and marked. I know that it's a good certified vendor and that's a brand that I typically went for as well as Mitt 45. So those are the two brands you're probably going to see in this video. Along with some capsules that I ordered, I also ordered this little pocket scale. I have a scale at home like this. It's a little bit bigger, but I wanted it to be delivered to my destination. And so I got this one. I will be honest though, I'm not a fan of this particular pocket scale. It only measures to a tenth of a gram and I want it to measure to a hundredth of a gram for me personally. And I find that it's not very accurate. I notice the numbers are like wavering a lot on it. So not the best, I'm not gonna lie, but this is what I would recommend if you don't even wanna use a scale at all. So get your favorite capsules together from whatever your favorite vendor is and make sure you know exactly the size and the amount of powder that is in each capsule. And you're going to wanna make sure that it is consistent by measuring a few capsules before you travel. A really great brand that actually has one gram per capsule, which I think is awesome, is Craybot. And I love that they have these jumbo capsules, great for travel again, and every single one is consistently one gram. So I know I only need to take two for my serving size, which makes it very, very doable when I'm out and about. One thing I forgot to mention that I wanted to make sure I included in this video is that Craybot also has pressed tablets. And what it is, is it's just Kratom that's pressed into a pre-measured, pre-weighted tablet. And so again, you don't have to worry about anything. You're not taking the capsule so it hits your system quicker. And I find that they are so fantastic. And honestly, I should have gotten some for this trip and I'm regretting it now. But for next trip, I will absolutely have some of those on hand and they get a big thumbs up from me. They're really good and they work really well. I also always bring a shaker cup. I love Happy Hippo's shaker cup. They have a really cool pink one, but this is another older shaker cup that I have. You can even get these at like TJ Maxx. And what you could do is make sure it's washed out and dry Put a serving of your powder in there before you leave and keep it in your carry-on bag on the plane. Just add some water to it, shake it up, and drink it. If you don't want to do that method, obviously, then just put capsules in there. Now, you can go to smoke shops in legal states and find things like this Whole Herbs brand. I think they're just okay, nothing spectacular. But if I do go to those smoke shops, I grab the Mint 45 stuff. It's so good. And also, I get their extracts for things like events or something special that I want to have some extract for. Extracts really come in handy, although you want to take and use it responsibly, of course, because it can definitely up your tolerance and create more of a dependence on the product. So just be mindful of that. 
and I like these mitt 45 gold ones especially so I actually just take two capfuls of this and that is my serving size and I can just keep this in my purse I keep it in a little ziploc baggie because sometimes they leak a little bit and then I just take it with me and it's great to have on hand. And by the way, this is what the Happy Hippo capsules look like. And I'm loving their green Sunda right now and their red vein Sumatra. So this one's good for sleep and the green one is better for energy. And they also have a drain wreck blend, which is pretty good too. I don't know if it's still in stock right now, but that one also comes in capsules and pretty much everything on their site comes in capsules. So that's really convenient. The only, I guess you would say supercharger or other botanical herb that I traveled with that doesn't come in capsule form is this. And this is my Magnolia Bark Extract from Creepy Tiki. This really helps my anxiety. So I use that scale to measure it out and take it with my Kratom serving when I'm at the house, not when I'm out traveling, of course. And yeah, other than that, it's basically take capsules with me and either take the capsules or take a cap full of the extract or mix up some in my shaker cup and carry the shaker cup around with me which i don't mind the other thing that i haven't mentioned is that i take one of these prescription bottles and i'll mix i will put powder in it and i don't find that that gets me like stopped by anyone or questioning anything i just dump it out of this prescription bottle into my shaker cup with the correct serving size already measured out prior to leaving the house where my scale is at i don't bring my scale out in public with me and if you don't care, you can, I guess, but for me, I just would prefer not to be asked questions. And that's the other thing I want to lead into is that people might ask you, you know, why are you taking this? What is this green stuff you're taking? What are you doing? And I either simply respond with it's tea or I can explain more about it as I am a Kratom advocate and I like to educate people about Kratom. I like the capsules because I can actually have friends try it out here, which is kind of cool if they are open to trying it and obviously it's legal for them to do so. You might also want to find out their medication history and all of that, of course, before they go ahead and take it or maybe they should call and ask their doc doctor first and, you know, all of that good stuff. And the other thing is like, I love Kratom and what it's done for my life and it is not bothersome for someone to ask me or be curious about what I am taking and if they're gonna make like an inappropriate comment about it or say something like oh why are you doing drugs or you know stuff like that I definitely come back at them with an educational perspective and I talk you know more about the plant its history what it's used for that kind of stuff and I just don't let it bother me so much and I know that's easier said than done but the more that you do this the easier it is and you might even want to plan your Kratom break during your traveling because we are all about tolerance breaks here. We have a tolerance break coming up in May, I think it is. I'm going to have a colonoscopy done. And so I plan my Kratom breaks around the times of my colonoscopies, especially. And so it is really important that you do take those tolerance breaks. Try things like Hirsuta and Jamnica. You could even go the stem and vein route or the crushed leaf route, filter out the plant matter. All of these things are really fantastic and great. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Let me know any of your tips and tricks when traveling with Kratom. Remember, we are all botanical queens and I'll see you soon in the next video.